Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention right there, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Make a promise to yourself you're going to try to stay here. Now, if it so happens that you leave, well, you just come right back. But you've got to stick with it, because the goodness we want in the world comes from our own actions. And if our actions are not consistently good, then the goodness we hope to get is not going to be consistent either. It'll come and go up, go up and down. So try to develop some consistency in your, in your thoughts and your words and your deeds, primarily by learning how to put some consistency in your mind. We've come here because we want happiness in life. We see that being generous, being virtuous, meditating, these are things that lead to happiness because they train the mind. But think, think about that happiness you want, and then ask yourself, are the causes in line with the results that you want? If they're not, we'll go back and look in your mind again. What's still lacking in the mind? Lacking in mindfulness, in other words, you make your, your mind to remember something and you forget when you really need it. Lacking in alertness, you're not really watching what's going on. This is a big one for a lot of us because there's so many back corners and hidden rooms in the mind. It's one of the reasons why you have to meditate, get your awareness all around so that you can open up some of these hidden rooms and see what's going on in the mind. After all, if the mind is shaping your life, you want to make sure it's doing a good job. If there are any inconsistencies, you're going to ask yourself, well, who's been usurping the power in here? Who's been making the decisions and not letting the people at the top know? They've got to look into your mind. Or are you lacking in ardency, in other words, the, the desire to really do this well? Because sometimes we believe in the power of our actions, and sometimes we don't. Sometimes you say, I really hope that my actions give results. Other times you do something, so I hope this doesn't give results. And then you try to convince yourself that the law of karma is something you can turn on, on and off. But actions always give results, and the results are in line with the quality of the action, and particularly with the quality of the intention behind the action. So if you want good results, you have to make sure that the Intentions are good. If you want those good results to be consistently good, then you have to make sure your intentions are consistently good. And reminding yourself that you have the choice. You don't have to act on every intention that comes to the mind. And even though some of the unskillful ones, based on greed, aversion, and illusion, seem awfully strong, they don't have to overwhelm the mind. The mind can strengthen itself in its conviction that its actions really do matter, and its persistence, really sticking with doing what's good. Mindfulness, remembering what's good, so you can apply it. This will bring the mind to concentration and then the discernment. All these things are strengths of mind that enable you to do consistently the right thing. And that way the happiness that you want, and the happiness that we all want, will be consistent as well. The results have to come from causes, and the causes are there in your mind. So make sure they're in good order, and that nothing else comes in to overthrow them.